Hey everyone, this is just Candy. Um, so I haven't done a video for so long. My laptop's not working. I've got the blue screen of death. So I think my laptop has died. And no matter what I do, it's not working. So it looks like I'm going to have to buy a new laptop. Um, much love to all my new subscribers, thank you so much. So I haven't been able to um, comment or see you because like I said my laptop's not working and um, I don't find the YouTube app on my phone gives me the same functionality as on my laptop. So for example when I click, I can't click on my phone on to see my subscribers. So but much love and thank you so much so today is wash day and my hair needs a wash so what i was thinking of doing is um deep cleansing my locks now usually i do tend to deep cleanse them and so what i tend to do is mix um bicarbonate soda sometimes with my shampoo to give my hair kind of like a deep cleanse but um i feel what I realise often is that I'm only kind of deep cleansing when I mix my shampoo, kind of like the top, maybe the roots and maybe the top bit of my locks. And I really need to kind of get down and do a nice deep clean on these bottom locks, all my locks. So I saw Cheska Lee's video, Cheska, Francesca, Cheska Locks, as her channel's called. Um, yeah, so I saw her video on deep cleansing. So this is what I'm going to do to try on my hair. So be with me as I experiment. Okay, so to deep cleanse my locks, sorry you can't really see me because I don't have a camera person, so I'm trying to do this on my own. So I filled my sink up with some warm water. Um, shoot, it's gone a bit cold actually. I'm going to some hot in it. Okay, so to that, um, I'm going to squeeze in some lemon juice. So, just going to squeeze that in through my fingers so I don't get the seeds in. Right. So that's, and I'm going to use a whole lemon for this one. They're quite small. In fact, I've had these ones for quite a while. So, um, they have dried up a bit. So, um, yep, just squeeze in some lemon, that's in there, whoops, I dropped a pip in, put that out, oh, I've done it again, <laughs> oh dear, right, come here Mr. Pip, right, to that, I'm going to add some bicarbonate soda, I think in America, I hope you can see all that, sorry, I hope my angle's okay. Um, I think in America you call it baking soda, but anyway, same thing. So, I'm just going to add, I don't have the cup measurements, so I'm doing this in tablespoons, so I'm just going to add four of that. Things empty, so <laughs> and then to that, I'm going to add some apple cider vinegar. It's a new jar, I need to open it. So, and I'm going to add 12 tablespoons of this. I'll see how I feel. That's one. You see, was hitting the bar card. It's fizzing. That's two.
I think I'm going to leave it at 10. Because um, when I tried, obviously, Francesca, Francesca gave it in, in cups. Like she said, to use three quarter cups. But I don't have a cup measurement. So when I went online to try and... Um, well, I'm just stirring it now to dissolve it. So I went online to try and convert it. It said it was about 12 tablespoons. But I've stopped at 10 there. So there you go. So it's all dissolved. It's bubbling away. And, yep. Let me see if I can... So, yes, you can kind of see what it looks like. It's looking very yellow. Already, and I haven't put, I haven't put anything in that. Really, maybe it was the lemon juice. Maybe I should have used concentrated instead of fresh lemon. But we'll see. And now I'm just going to hold the pip there. Put the locks in. Okay, it's hard to tell if it's doing anything because my water, sorry, you probably can't hear me. Well, it's hard to see if it's doing anything because my water was already looking yellow before I'd um, even stopped my locks in. So. Doing that, give it a soft look a bit longer. <clears throat> hey, so I finished kind of soaking my locks in the water. Um, so, what I did, I left it in there, I kind of squeezed the water like through my locks like that while the hair was in the sink to make sure I got it right down through the length of my locks. Um, and I also like used a cup and poured off the back and massaged my scalp to make sure I was getting all my locks kind of cleansed. Good thing with this, because it's a cleanse, you don't actually need to shampoo. So I'm going to rinse it and then I'm going to use my hair mayonnaise to deep condition it. Um, that is the water. <laughs> Lovely. So, but at least I know it's been deep cleansed. So yep, so I'm going to rinse it and then um, condition it. Okay. Hey, this is just Candy. So I'm back now. Um, I have finished washing my hair like I said I was going to do. So um, afterwards, I deep condition it with my own, um, like, mayonnaise deep conditioner recipe um and then so then i left it on for a bit i covered it with a turby towel and then put a plastic cap on it and left it for a bit and then i um i rinsed it out and i did a final rinse with acv apple cider vinegar i think i did about 100 mils apple cider vinegar to about a litre of warm water and then i just rinsed that out at the moment, as you can see, my hair is in braids because I'm going to do a braid out. Um, so my thoughts on the deep cleanse with the baking soda. Um, as I said, I already tend to um, like do a deep cleanse using the bar carb of soda. Um, but I tend to, when I usually do it, I tend to mix it a little bit with my shampoo and put it through my hair. This is the first time I'm doing it. Um, I used... Um, like fresh squeezed lemon juice in there instead of like using the bottle the concentrate I don't know if that actually made a difference to it because I looked, looked at the water because just the way the lemon juice is kind of looked a bit cloudy so I don't know whether I should use um, the bottle next time also I know um, Francesca she'd put sea salt in hers but I didn't put that in mine 
Um, yeah, so I'm not exactly certain how I found it. Well, it's the water, it wasn't actually that dirty, which probably means it's a good thing. It means that my locks weren't that dirty and I'm doing a, a good cleanse of it. And we saw the picture, the water was dirty. But then actually, as I was thinking about it, I haven't actually washed my locks for, I just realised it's four weeks. Yeah, I know, really bad. I don't usually go that long. But um, I was meant to dip it up before I got it retightened two weeks ago, but then I didn't. And then after I had it retightened, I didn't want to wash it yet. So I hadn't actually done it. But yes, yeah, so I just realised it was actually four weeks. So considering it was four weeks, the water actually looked that dirty. I thought it would be worse than that. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure if I would do it that way again. Um, I bend over the sink. I know some people that will mix it together and then put it on their locks, just, you know, soak their, their hair with it and then leave it to sit, then rinse out instead of, like, bending over a sink. I might try it that way or I might just do it as I do anyway and just um, mix the bar carb with the, my shampoo and then um, wash it that way. And just remember to always, you know, kind of squeeze it down the length of your locks. Always, always, always remember though, after you use the bar carb soda, make sure you do a, um, a deep conditioner because it strips everything. It's a deep cleanser and it really dries your hair out. So make sure you do um, a deep conditioner afterwards. So I hope you like this experiment. I did. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.